Hey, it's Mark coming to you from Baker's Green Acres. Uh, there's a kind of an interesting product that we make here, <clears throat> and I'm going to get into this a lot more this summer, you know, go over how to make it and how to apply it and all that stuff. This is it right here. It's called biochar. I'm sure people have heard a lot about it by now. And uh, <clears throat> we figured out how to make it and make it in pretty good quantities. <clears throat> and then we've discovered other uses for it that are kind of different from what they say and I found this out quite accidentally as you know we're scientists here we're part of the scientific community and uh, <clears throat> we were doing some research with it and uh, it was actually a fight with biochar we were throwing at each other and uh, it got some of it got thrown in with these guys and they're not eating noodles there they're, they're eating biochar and this is this is it biochar is pretty much charcoal that's made in an oxygen depleted environment and so it's it's very very pure carbon and for whatever reason when you feed it to the animals they eat it and uh, I you know these pigs have never been sick so I don't know of all the health benefits with pigs but I do know that when they eat it um, they inoculate it with their system. The idea of biochar is a chunk of biochar like this has as much space in it as you have in your house, is what they say. Well, this is a little kind of big for that. Um, and that space is for bacteria to inhabit. And bacteria is a good thing in the farming business. Actually, a good thing in the nutrition business, too. Um, but the bacteria takes up residence in this biochar, and then the bacteria are little uh, feeder fish type thing for protozoa. Protozoa eat them, and they manure, and their manure is soil building, uh, has soil building properties. I, I, some people say it actually is soil. All right, so it's protozoa manure. Um, so we really want to propagate uh, as much bacteria on the farm as we can. The good kind, of course. Now, if you notice this little field right here, it's been cold as blazes for the last, I don't know, 60 days or so. And every time one of these little pigs poops, it freezes. So we have all these freeze-dried poops out there. Now, in the, in the spring, you know, they'll all soften up, and then they'll go right to the earth right there. So each one of those poops will have some of this biochar in it. And it's inoculated with the bacterium from their, the pig's system, which is a, a good thing. Then this little pen right here, <clears throat> we'll scrape this out with a front end loader. There'll be a lot of manure. We'll put it in a pile. We'll add sawdust to it, maybe some uh, old bedding. And then we'll go to turning that. And in about two months, we'll have a very, very extremely rich compost um, it would it'd actually be too rich. We'd have to cut it with some, some lesser compost, which we can make from other things like cow manure. Um, and the bacteria that is living in the biochar will um, continue to live because the biochar creates a little uh, apartment building for the bacteria to live in. You know, it keeps them moist. It keeps them... Um, out of the sun. Sun will kill bacteria. Um, and, and that's something good to know. That's one of the reasons why our herd stays so healthy is because they're outside and anytime there's any problems in this herd they're manuring outside and their manure is uh, hit by the sun. So if there's any problems there, any viral problems, um, that's taken care of. If the manure is kept in a slurry for instance and then that slurry is injected into the ground and it never sees sunlight, then that virus uh, multiplies. And then if you grow feed in that, well, then you're just asking for trouble. And um, we, we don't have those type, types of problems here with a pasture operation. Everything stays pretty clean because it's outside. Now these pigs, you see, it's, you know, five below zero right now. They're outside, they're not, they're not bothered by it even the least amount. You know, they have a warm place to sleep at night. They're in the barn. But our sows, 
are over there. I don't know if that is clear. You can see them over there. They're outside. They have a shelter there, but they they just mug up in the snow. They like that. So that's biochar. It's an interesting subject, and I'm going to get into it more this summer. But I just want to wet your whistle with it now because I thought it was kind of interesting that these guys are going crazy eating this stuff. <coughs> All right, Mark from Baker's Green Acres signing out.